good morning. We have just left uh, Vic Carnarvon Victoria Dock. We've just come out the gate and we're just getting ready to transit up the uh, swellies to, um, sorry, we're getting ready to transit the Menai to do the swellies and then we're going to stop on the other side of it and just assess our passage from that point forward. But it's a lovely morning here in uh, North Wales and um, I've just got a light jacket on, nothing heavy underneath it, no thermal layers and plenty of sunscreen because it's absolutely baking hot, isn't it? It certainly is. Now, um, we're doing 6.5 knots. Which is a bit quick. Um, and um, we're only on about 15,000 reps. Really? It goes up that high? Yeah. 15,000? Well, not 15,000. 1,500. <laughs> I do apologise. <laughs> you can tell I get tongue-tied a lot. Oh, dear. So, yes, um, but we've gone past uh, Change Boy. Um, so, um, from now on, going up the passage, uh, we have our greens on our um, port, side. port side with our reds on our starboard side just because we've gone past. We've uh, gone past the change boy. At this point at Carnarvon the direction of boys on uh, the strait changes. So that side reds are toward Wales and greens are toward Anglesey. On this side greens are toward Anglesey and reds are toward Wales. So <sighs> it's what you get for having an island. But <laughs> onward hope. Let's get a cup of tea. Like uh, rubbish but there you go only because it's very early it's just gone us past midnight here on salty lass um, but the um, high tide in Liverpool is at two o'clock in the afternoon and because we've looked at our logbook and everything um, it's taken us about 12 hours uh, to get to Liverpool um, last time we did it in 13 hours, but we were actually further down uh, the straits. We're currently anchored in the pool at the moment, which is just outside Bone Maris. Um, so we've allowed ourselves ooh, the luxury of 12 hours rather than 13. But uh, as we've got to get there for two, we've got to be leaving here at two, and I feel dreadful. But. It's the fun and games of boat life. <laughs> well, on this uh, not so bright morning, the good news is we are sailing. <laughs> the bad news is we're going back to the Menai Straits. We're um, exactly the wrong direction, aren't we? We're going back to the Menai Straits. Um, we basically put down a passage plan and uh, we did 12 hours because uh, that should be enough. But comparing our last passage plan, we were doing about 3.6 knots at our slowest because we had the sails up. Um, whereas um, this passage we had the wind absolutely on our nose there was nothing we could do with the wind um, 22 knots of wind 22 knots of the wind on the nose and I know you can obviously we could tack and all that sort of stuff but that really really does make your course a lot longer um, and uh, we were doing 2.6 knots and that was for about an hour and 
we just decided, no, we're going to go back to the Menai Straits. We've still got a full week in which to do the next leg up to Liverpool. But I have to be honest, I'm wondering whether we should. And <sighs> my head is going still spinning. Uh, but my mental state is improving purely because we're sailing. And I have to tell you, that just makes my... It just calms me down and makes me at least relax and think about sailing rather than oh, all the other stuff that's going through my head. Things must be really desperate. You're making tea and you're still in your gear. Uh, well, I could get out of it and hang it up and do all that sort of thing, or I could just get things moving. I decided just to get things moving because I'm starving. And there's something appealing about third breakfast. First breakfast was cornflakes, second breakfast was... Um, bacon pitta. Bacon pitta. Uh, not the weather. The weather around here is absolutely bonkers today. It turns out it's totally the wrong day to try and do a passage to Liverpool. And if you look out the window, you can see why. Even down here, there are white caps here. Um, it was absolutely horrible outside and it got worse and worse as we did it. But in the end, we decided to return to Menai. We did that. We just hoisted the sail out, ghosted our way down the strait, a stately two knots with the foul tide the whole way. And here we are, just waiting for the festival to come up so we can mirror next exit, but more importantly, waiting for third breakfast. Sausages, bacon and mushrooms in the pan. That's the critical stuff done, so I can now get out of this stuff. And the nice thing about this is it's actually pretty quick to get out of. I suppose I could have done it, but again, I might have needed assistance on deck, so it was wise to stay in it. But, there we go, job done. Ooh. I always think it's a uh, peeling of the caterpillar, that. Uh, yeah, it is a bit, isn't it? Like coming out of your, coming out of your chrysalis or something. Right, oh my god, cooking. It's so good that way. You are great that way. I am, aren't I? Here you go. Oh, Third yeah. breakfast! Yay! Let's get the orange juice. I thought I was doing well at this because I'm actually ahead for once in my life. Oh, honest to goodness, I've never known us to be so bad. We're playing on half a board here, aren't we? Yeah. And I wouldn't mind, but I can't even do DA something or other. I've got to do, I've been had. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to put hard in, but I can't. Oh, this is probably the worst game of Scrabble we've ever played. Oh, yeah, absolutely abysmal. <laughs> well, like you say, we're half a board. <laughs> we're squeezing everything. But we're having to do this because we're stuck in the boat today, oh, aren't we? We're stuck in the boat today, aren't we? Yeah, it's just... I think um, we've, we've made a decision that we should... We're just going to go to Conwy now. Um, but we still can't go there because of the wind and everything. But we're going to uh, leave the boat in Conway. I'm also thinking Port Denaric. There's no train station in Port Denaric, but you get a cab to Bangor. Well, it's, um, but we need to leave the boat somewhere. Okay, well, we'll think about that. That's a good idea, Bev. Okay, back to Scrabble. <laughs> yeah, because this is rubbish. <laughs> okay, I better add your score up. <laughs> I'm hard done by, I can tell you that.
Oh, he's that way over there. I think it'd be a bit more illuminated. Oh, there you are. Oh. Well, it's two in the morning. It's a force seven outside. And if you listen carefully in the background, you can hear the wind howling and the water running past because the Menai tide oh. is running full tilt, isn't it? It certainly is. I mean, so I was up yesterday morning at two because we were going to try and get to Liverpool, but as I say, that was a complete whitewash. Uh, and then we came back to the Menai and we got onto a mooring ball. Um, they've taken the council mooring balls away. It's dire, but never mind. We've got onto another mooring ball. Um, but it's quite way out into the tidal stream. It's sort of like right on the edge. So it means that we're closer to the tidal stream. And um, Beverly's gone through a chafe. We've gone through a chafe protector already. Um, and. Um, Beverly's got that many ropes and safety ropes on <laughs> The chain does look substantial. Yeah. And you can also tell it's well maintained because it hasn't got any growth on it or anything like that. A clean chain is a well maintained chain. And the boy's in good condition. Exactly. R and lines are in good order. All the rest of it. You can always tell, whereas... Um, chains that have got growth and critters coming from them are not well maintained <laughs> but that's our rule of thumb well maintained it's um it's clean yeah so we just got to sit the side haven't we yeah but also i'm my head's starting to spin with all the stuff i've got to get organized i just need to get off salty last so i can get some of this done Mm. Well, Beverly and I are rafted at uh, Menai Bridge after uh, what can only be described as a masterclass in rafting to a bigger boat. Honest to goodness, we got it wrong so many times it was ridiculous. But we got it right in the end. And that's the aim. You we always... rafted on the first attempt. I know we rafted on the first attempt, but we haven't got the lines right and we had to change the lines because it was such a big a boat. You know, we've not rafted to a big boat before, but well, we have actually, but. We rafted yeah. to the Prince Maddox, which is even bigger than this one. That's true, that's true. But anyway, so we've rafted to a um, boat, but it has got its generator on 24 7, which. <laughs> I'm amazed that we actually slept through it, but we did. Um, but um, we've got a mooring here in Menai. Um, so uh, as soon as the harbour master comes, uh, we'll be um, moving the boat to the mooring um, and then we'll be able to uh, get off. That was just the ship's radio. Go on. Yeah, and then we'll, anyway, we'll be able to get off and um, we're going to leave the boat for about a week and a bit. Uh, get all this other stuff that we've got to get sorted and then see where we go from there.